Harry Vance's place do you remember? I did when I was at the airport. They didn't allow lighters through security. I'd make sure I had matches before I went. It was chaos trying to find a smoking section in Mexico at the airport. It was ridiculous. And they wouldn't let me go back through security. I had to sit in the airport for four hours and then I had to sit on the airplane for three hours. It was ridiculous. As soon as I got in the car. Did it feel good once you finally got off that plane and got out of security and could light a cigarette up finally? Yes. How long did you go without in total? Probably seven hours. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I couldn't, there's no way. There's just, there's no way. Especially on a plane, I'm already anxious enough. It was horrible. It was horrible sitting in the airport. I was like, I need to go to sleep. I need to go do something. I had to go walk around because I was so like antsy because I wanted a cigarette so bad. I just, the entire world's going to become non-smoking and we're going to have no place to go. I know. Hopefully we'll find some place. You remember when we were little and it seemed like everybody could smoke everywhere? And now that we're finally old enough to go out and enjoy ourselves, it's it's all cut off. I know. Even at our work. Yeah. Saturday and Sunday change for the mornings. You can't smoke there anymore. It's ridiculous. Where are we supposed to go? Everyone's going to be standing outside. and I know. And then we're not going to be able to stand outside and smoke. Exactly. It just doesn't seem... I don't see how it makes a difference. You can choose if you want to sit in the smoking section or the non-smoking section. You have a choice. No one is forced to be around smoke that doesn't want to be. Right. If you don't want to go to the restaurant, get carry out. Right. And they say that bars are different because everyone smokes in a bar, but that's part of the atmosphere. You have to accept that. Drunk people like to smoke. Exactly. That was good. Because I would smoke in my car.
Do you remember the first time you smoked in public? I was driving in my car. I just picked up a pack of cigarettes that I had one of my friends buy for me because I couldn't buy them because I wasn't old enough. I think I was 15. I was afraid that my mom would see me if I smoked the house. Like I would always keep it down so no one could see me and I was just scared I would drive by somebody and they would see me and be like, oh, she smokes. When I first started smoking, I didn't tell my boyfriend and then I guess someone told him that I started smoking and he came up to me and I told him yeah and he broke up with me because I started smoking so I told him that I quit but I really didn't and then like I would chew gum and I would spray myself down with perfume and he would be like why do you, why do you smell so strong and I would just be like oh I don't know I just want to smell nice for you and he finally realized like oh you were smoking cigarettes and he stopped talking to me again so I just had to tell him that I quit and just try and sneak it around him.
When was the first time you smoked in public? I was driving around in my car. I wasn't old enough, I was 16, and I asked a guy to buy me a pack of cigarettes. And how did that make you feel? <sighs> kind of weird, because I didn't want like people to see me, because like I knew I wasn't old enough, so I felt like when I was driving, I had to like hide it. Where were you able to smoke at the sports center? We had to go outside. There was no smoking indoors. Did any of the other people smoke? A few people smoked. How old were you when you had your first morning cigarette? I think I was about 16 when I first became like addicted. I had to wake up and I had to have my first morning cigarette. Like when I first woke up, I needed a cigarette. I think just from sleeping for so long that my body didn't have any nicotine and I needed it right away.
What was your reaction to your teacher? I smiled. I just denied it. Did you ever have to hide your smoking? Yeah, when I was at school, on lunch breaks, I would have to go. I would smoke in the car. Like, we would, we would be able to go off campus. We'd go to Taco Bell, but I would come back and I would smell like cigarettes, and my teacher would always yell at me because we weren't allowed to smoke. I wasn't old enough, so. Actually, if you had cigarettes on you, in your purse, you could get suspended and you get them taken away. So I would always just keep them in my car. I just laughed and denied it. Just acted like, mm, okay, I smell like smoke. It was someone I was up with, or it wasn't me. I'm blind.
Have you always smoked Newport cigars? Yeah. I always smoke them at Christmas. I always smoke Newports. I started out with Marble Menthol Smooths. But all my friends smoked Newport, so I ended up smoking all theirs and Do most of your friends smoke, or do you have any anti-smoking friends? All my friends smoke, except for my best friend, and she likes to smoke when she's drunk. That's about it. All my other friends smoke. I don't think so. I think I swallowed the air instead of inhaling it. How long did it take you to learn how to inhale? I think I had to ask someone like what to do when I first started smoking. I think I was like, how do you smoke a cigarette? You just, after you hit it, you just breathe in and then you blow it out. ever smoke in front of the mirror to see how you look when you smoke? Yeah, I always do when I'm driving. When I first started. I don't anymore because I know what I look like. Sometimes I go in the bathroom at work and I smoke in front of the mirror. <laughs> I've never hit anybody with my car. How much do you usually smoke a day? I usually smoke around a pack and a half a day. A lot of money. Were you able to last a whole day without smoking at school? No. I always smoke like three cigarettes at lunch. One right after another. Where do you guys go for lunch? When we were down sometimes, we'd go buy cigarettes because this one guy would sell us to us when we were younger. So it was hard to try and find cigarettes before I was able to buy them myself. I'd always have to find people to buy them for me.